Hello guys, welcome to this video. And uh, in this video, I've been showing you guys how to use the clone stamp tools. Uh, okay, let's just get started and see how we get to it. So, I'll just go to my images. So, in this video, these are the images they are going to be using in this video. So, I have uh, I've opened up Photoshop like this. I've, I've not created any documents, I've not posted any photos. So, I have something like this. So, well, you would have something like this, right? That's still no problem. So, just go to the pictures. I have also shared a link to these pictures all in the description of the video. So, go and drag and drop a picture. So, let's start with this one. I'll drop this one and drop it. And this is the picture, right? Now, you guys will notice that um, she has some pimples or rashes on her things, right? So, we'll start by cleaning that up. Um, so, if you press S on your keyboard, or if you just come here and okay even before i get to the clone stamp tool let's first of all go to the um spot healing brush tools here yeah, so in this video we're going to be looking at the spot healing brush tools the healing brush tool the patch tool then we'll look at the stamp clone tool as well here okay so let's get started with this by just press um j on your keyboard letter j or your keyboard so and let's start this first one so we have the spot healing brush tool okay so let's select that. So what does the spot healing brush tool um really do Shane? So what the spot healing brush tool does is this. Now we have um dragged and dropped this particular image to Photoshop. I noticed that it's a raster. Okay, it's a raster and it it's it doesn't have that smart object thing in it. And when you select this uh spot healing brush tool here, right? You notice you have this uh famous uh brush like stuff this head here okay so if you come with a spot healing brush tool you can use a spot healing brush tool you can make it a little bit soft by coming here and you can drop the hardness of the brush right you can, as you can see it's a soft brush so for those of you who have been asking how do i get to preview it like this what i'm doing is i hold alt on the keyboard alt then i have this and i right click on the space when i drag up it makes my brush soft when i drag down it makes my brush hard when I drop to the left, it makes my brush small. When I drop to the right, it makes my brush big. Again, you hold Alt on the keyboard. You right click and hold. When you drag down, it makes your brush um, soft. When you drag up, it makes it... Sorry, when you drag down, it makes it soft. When you drag up, it makes it... Wow. When you drag down, it makes it hard. When you drag up, it makes it soft. When you drag left, it increases the size. When you drag, when you drag right, it increases the size. And when you drag left, it um, drops the size. Let me just say this again. Hold Alt, right click. When you drag left, drop the size. When you drag right, increases the size. When you drag down, make it harder. When you drag up, makes it soft. Okay. Rather than coming up here and doing this, you can see I have the same thing done up here. So I'd come here and just drag this. I'll make this kind of hard. Let's zoom in. So with the spot limb brush, you just come to a particular spot here that you want to fix up and just click on it. All right. And see Photoshop does a good job there. So you just click, click, click and click like that and you see photoshop is cleaning those particular places up like that right so you spend some time doing things like this and just cleaning that up notice that we are doing this on this same layer here which is a bad idea right we're not supposed to do it on the same layer normally we would have to create different layers to handle um different things like that or can you just zoom out a little bit so we'll just make sure your brush is really small and it gives you handle small points so this particular tool is good to use this tool this pot filling brush tool um on small areas okay so that, so that photoshop can give you a better result like if i make this brush too big now and i do something like this you see the result here is horrible so it's a good idea to always have it small right and you just click and photoshop is going to do a good job on that small spot there and what photoshop does is it, it just examines the other pixels around that particular area you clicked on okay and um replaces what you currently have there with something better right so again this is just the spot hidden brush tool right this one here spot hidden brush tool so let, we'll just click 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 and let's see like this let's just go around the face like that something so this area we want to fix up done let's see okay i'll come here so like this 
Again, make sure your brush is not too big. Now remember, this is not the regular brush. This is the spot healing brush tool. Okay. Click and I'll just click and click. I'd say click here again. I'll come down here. I'll just click. I'll uh, click. Now there are some things that you're not able to do with this particular one. Like now, see it's messing this. This looks funny now, right? Okay, but for a start, let's just use this particular tool and I'll show you how to use other tools. So let's just get this stuff removed. Okay, so let's look at the before and after. So if I come to my history panel here, then I go back to the top like this. Click here. This is how it looks like when I brought it in. And come back down here. This is the after here. Do you see? So it is the before. Like that. It's a, more, it's a bit as a before. And here is the after. Like that. So you say you have successfully removed those um, portions from there. Now notice that we have kind of worked in a very destructive manner. We are doing our changes and the changes we apply to the um, layer directly. Usually that's not what we're going to we'll be doing. Okay. It's a good idea to probably duplicate layer or create like, a new empty layer and get that done there. All right. But that's basically that for this um, fixing that up with uh, this particular tool here. And you can do it. You can use the same tool in other image let me just bring another example so i'll come here and let's see i bring in the you see what can i bring in can even drop this banana and boom so let's say we have something like this right and you want to remove these dark spots from the banana right you can see the same tool and you can either just click you can you can draw you can drag around like that right so i just click on drag they can drag and stuff like this okay let's try this and see if, if this will work yeah, stuff like that. Hit. Wait. Press. So you do things like this and down. Um, I'll make this into big and see if this will work. Okay. It's, it's working. So I'll make my brush a little bit soft. And that. And this will drain again. Now, the bigger the brush gets, the funny the, the result starts looking okay. So just remember, you can always use this one where you're working with um, small areas, right? And let's see what you had before. So before healing and after healing, right? So you can use, you can do things like this to just fix up um, your image. And photographers use this particular tool, so I'll be showing you today a lot. You need them a lot to retouch their images. All right. Um, stuff like that. Okay, now you see how it does this one up, right? Because that was too much and you know, it didn't really have enough good pixels to calculate what to feel here okay so that's that let me just close this one up all right so let's go to the next one so the next two here is this hidden brush so there's a difference between the spot healing and the hidden brush this hidden brush this spot healing brush here you just select it and you can just click on whatever area you want to um, clean up and photoshop does the job and i said that it's good to make sure your brush size is small so i'll get this next one the healing brush tool then i'll come back here and i'll just i can even close this up so I'll close this up and bring it back again. So I'll come here and I'll drag and drop like this. Now this uh spot, this are hidden brush tool here. Okay, so before I work on this particular image, let's create a new empty layer. As I said last time, it's not good to work on the image directly like this, right? So let's create a new empty layer by clicking on this little um icon on the left of the recycle bin icon, which is this one here. So when you click on it, you now have an empty layer here. Okay then we have your healing brush tool selected you notice the options here have changed have changed to something like this right i want to comment sample and make sure you have current and below select that so what we want is that um we want to our uh, changes to happen in this layer here up here but we want to be able to sample the layer below okay yes so if i now zoom in like this and we have something like that then i can make sure this layer is selected here then you make sure you have gotten your your um, healing brush tool now with the healing brush, what you do is you just get the tool and try to, to um, brush. It tells you something. Alt click to define a source point to be used um, to repair the image. So what it says is you have to now define a reference point. So you're saying Photoshop fix this particular point for me. And the question Photoshop is asking is, you want to replace that particular point with what? What is your reference point to get right? But with this first one here, this point healing brush tool, Photoshop does it automatically for you. Okay. With the healing brush tree, you have more control. You can decide where you want to copy pixels from. Let me give an example. So if I come here and so I hold Alt on the keyboard 
Now click on this area here, okay? That's what I mean by Alt click. When I hold Alt, notice that the, my cursor changes to this one here, and I click here. So what I've done is I've to Photoshop that, okay, this is my reference point here. So when I move around, you can even say it's co that's copied those pixels, okay? So when I hold Alt and click here, let me say I hold Alt and click here, and move around, do you see? It's copying the pixels from here. You can now click somewhere else to place those pixels there, do you see? Then Photoshop kind of blends it a little bit. So I'll just do Ctrl Z to go back. So I'll say I want to copy these smooth pixels from here and replace here. And then I want to, um, let's say, make my brush a little bit soft like that. So you can come up here if you don't want to do, um, use the method I showed you guys by holding Alt on your keyboard, click and drag up to make your brush kind of soft, right? Then I'll come here, hold Alt and click here, and I'll just come and replace. Do you see? That's done something clean like that. So you can get stuff like this done. So you can, let's say, hold Alt and click here once. So you can use that same um, picture of copy from up there and replace it so many places. But that's going to cause a problem because um, this, is a, this is an image, right? And the face have different uh, light. They, let's see, how can I say this? Let's see. So the amount of light on the face um, varies, right? Like here, you see there's more light here than on this region here. So it's a good idea to use copy, copy pixels which are close to the... Um, stuff you want to fix up like here if you want to fix up this here I'll just hold alt and click here then i can come here and just something like this okay and stuff like this so you can you always hold alt and click to reference whatsoever you're copying from like that right you do stuff like this and this can just brush here click like this You make the brush a little bigger. Stuff like this. So this is the process you'd have to go through. So fix that up. So hold alt and click to select a point and I can just brush over here like that. I did the same thing over here. I'm sure some of you are like, to, we prefer to use the um, spot healing brush. Like for this case here, it, it, I think the spot healing brush is preferable because the um, pimples or the rashes on her face here are small, right? So you can just have a good job done using the spot healing brush too, like that. Um, let's see, so I'll just quickly do this thing. Oh boy. So as I said again, the, the only advantage of using this one is that it, um, it's precise. You can choose where you're copying pixels from. Okay. You can choose where you're copying pixels from. And I'll replace. And do this and that. And this. Right. So there's only difference between this one here. This one and this one. Okay. So if I now zoom out slightly, then if I go to the beef. So if I turn off this layer. Now, all of what I've done here, right, has applied just this empty layer here. So if I turn this off, you now see um, the pimples or the rashes thing is back to our face, right? If I turn this back on, you now see it has applied changes we have, done, we have made there. So this one, this that's the use of this layer that we have here. So you can even rename this, let's say, um, let's say first retouch or let's say pimples. So it doesn't really matter, right? So if only photographers have so many layers here and they get to retouch the face step by step, they may want to remove maybe the pupils, and they may want to work on the eye bags, then they may want to work on maybe the lips, they may want to work on some other thing, and they have they create different layers for it, right? Then maybe frequent separation as well, and will separate, let's say, the skin from the color, the skin texture from the color and stuff like that. Okay, um, so that's it um, for this particular tool here. That's just how you use it. Let me see if I have a photo we can apply that to. Okay, no photo we can apply that to for now, right? But I think it's just basic, simple, and straightforward stuff, right? No complication there for now, yet. Okay, so let's move on to the next tool, uh, which is the patch tool. All right, so for the patch tool, now let's look at her eye back here. So when I, let me just delete this layer here for now. In fact, let's just allow it. I'll just turn it off, and I'll create another empty layer here, and I'll call it eye back like this. Eye back. So what I referred to as eye back, this, what this an eye back here? Let me just get my regular brush tool. So the eye box refer to these these portions here of the eye, right? To, to the eye box, and photographers also retouch that as well. 
Okay. Um, so let me just go back and so let's come in. So what you can do is this. Now with the um come back to this group with the patch tool, what you can do is this. You can click and select an area. So it's hand drawn, you can just quickly drag and select an area. So you have a selection like this, right? Then you can now click and move the selection to whichever point you want to um use as a reference point. So let's say if I want to use this smooth place here as my reference point, right? I'll click and drag here. Okay, um, the reason why this is not working is because, so with this um, particular patch tool, you have to have this layer here selected. Okay, so I'll just come and click here and um, I'll do Ctrl J to, to duplicate it. So I have the selected this for doing this duplication. So this is what I mean. We had this selection active here. I just went to select and deactivate it first. So just deselect it first, then you can duplicate this layer here. So I have this, the reason I'm duplicating is so that I can have the original one here untouched. Okay, so I can even, I can even turn this off. So now here, and just if I can just do a lot of these things here, right? So we have this like this, okay? So I can work on this one here, and I always have this one here safe. So I'll come here, get the same thing, and let, let's just draw roughly around the eyes like that. So when I click and drag here, and when I allow it, Photoshop is going to do some processing for me and try to match it with this particular portion here. So do you see? And let's see. So this, this, is, this is the job Photoshop has done for us, which is not too good. Right, because you can really start the um, the skin and the color values here at this point is really different from the ones at this point, okay? But that's the idea with the uh, this particular tool here, the patch tool. So you can do the same thing here. You can draw around here. You can drag down here. You see, right? That speaks that up. You can draw around here like this and drag up like that. You can draw around here and drag up like this. And you can always do Ctrl Z to select that. You can do something like this and draw to the station do you see and photoshop is doing the job for you you can draw around like that and drag here but that's let's see here and see all right then photoshop i think it applies some blending to it as well so you can draw that around like this and you can you can draw versus somewhere here like that i'm sure you guys see how kind of messy this, this some portions here are like just drag here let's see um and this why I don't, I don't really like to always make my selections too big just very small so you can draw it like this and copy drag down here so you're, you're trying to you're making this point a reference point so again you're selecting the portion you want to replace i want to replace this, this portion here right and first of all you just drag around it as you draw around they have a selection active they can now click and drag to the portion you want to make your reference point this you want to make it to reference point down here and i'll allow like that so that's my reference point and you know see that speaks that up for me so the bigger the selection, uh, the likely you're going to have horrible results. Like you said, I don't really like this result, so I'll just do Ctrl Z and I'll do some, I'll do, try something else. Okay, I think I appreciate this one better. So I'll just click something quick here. Drag down here. And here I'll see. Drag down here. So whenever I do this and you want to remove the selection, you just press Ctrl Z on the keyboard and go to select and deselect. Okay. So you, you see what you have here, right? It's not doing something like this where I can drag up with something like this where I can drag in like that. Then you can come here. We drag it down a bit. We have something like now I'm just running, so I just undo that. Right. Drag down like that. So again, it's just a very basic thing. Very basics. There's a lot to learn about this. So photographers use this extensively. Like a lot, yeah. When it comes to skin reduction. Best select this and draw it. Then this portion and drag down to link this portion. I'm sure you guys see that I'm just now kind of hearing, okay? But you see the, the skin is kind of messed up. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm just showing you guys an example. I'm just illustrating how to use this tool, okay? Let's just go back and let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. So let me show you the before and after. So let me turn on the original one down here. This is the before here, before and the after. I'm sure you guys see some messy things that are happening down here. But again, let's show you how this tool is used. So let's use the trailer in another example and see. So if I come here to this image here of these potholes and drag and drop. So we have this. So with this same tool here, I can select around these potholes like this. Okay. I can drag it this way. Let's see somewhere here. And see Photoshop has done a good few here. So I can refine this other one by just doing something like this and drag again. And also it has fit what it has filled that up for me. So I can do the same thing here like this 
drag it this way. You see, it has filled that up for me as well. And come there, do something like this. Drag it somewhere here. Control D to deselect. You see, it has fixed that up for me. So you can just do stuff like this. And they will never know, right? They will never know. The drag like this. Just do something like this. So, again, your selection should not be too, too big. Else, you have bad results. So it's good to just start by ha having little selections, okay? And, um, yeah, stuff like this. Let's drag it this way and this one here. You can drag here like this. Let's see. Okay. And then I'll drag this one around like this. It's stay from here. And we're, okay, this makes sense. So yeah, like that. So let me just do a quick job here. Here, yeah, like that. Like this. Like this. Like this. So this again, which tool is this? The patch tool. Alright, the patch tool. Drag like this. Drag like this here. And drag. So select, just draw around like that. And drag like that. And drag like that. Okay. So now I'm going to cut a portion of this one here. Cut a portion of this one here. And to take from the similar corner. Portion of this one here. It's very funny. This one, this portion looks funny. So I'll drag here. Then this, this side here, I'll drop on this other side of the road and see how it looks like. Hmm, funny. That one looks funny. So I'll just go back in time. Okay, see where I had this, right? So I'll start from here. And then I'll go in slightly. And I'll go in and I'll fold this in. Then I'll roll this switch. Okay. And I'll now select this portion and drag. Oh, this road, this road still looks funny. So, and now remember that when you do this, it's, it's kind of blending your new source point with what you, you originally had, what you originally had here, like the colors as well, right? Again, what I'm showing are very beginner things, okay? Very beginner things, just so you get the idea is that there are a lot of advanced um, things to this, right? And then we have something like this, though I don't really like how this portion looks like here. This portion looks funny. But again, this is what we had the before and after. Oh, I forgot to even duplicate the layer right now. Look what I was talking about. So we have worked directly on the original one here. We don't have... So how do you go back? Can we, we can only go back through the history. So it's a good idea to always duplicate your layer and keep the original one safe while you're working on the, on the copy of it, okay? But this is the before here. Before. And this is the after down here. After, okay? So before. They have the after. Stuff like simple things like this, right? So you can do the same thing, you can use this image here to do the same thing. So I'll just drag this image here and drop at the top here. So I'm not dragging into the Canva here, I'm dropping it up here. So like Photoshop creates a new document with it, okay? And we have this, how do you remove this face mark? Very simple, with the patch to just drag around and drag it somewhere else and there. Uh, and it's got like that, okay? Then you might want to, okay, okay, okay. So let's just do control. Anyways, that's okay for now, it is fine for now, right? If you want to remove this stone here, you can just drive around and show up, please. That, that. So things like that, just simple things. You can use this to clean up your images. Let's say you took a picture in a very um dirty environment. You can always clean up the environment by selecting some of the things there and just quickly clean them all like that. Right. And stuff like this, okay. Yes, that's that. Let me see if it's another image you can use here. Same thing here, I can bring this one in here. Okay. I don't want these birds in my in my image. Very simple, just select the birds like that. And drag it away, and the, the, birds, the birds are gone. Okay, now this selection was too big. Yeah, too big. So I just go back, go back, and control D to the select, and I'll select again. Like that. Then I just pull somewhere here. And that's it. It's going to after, so you have the shadow as well, like this. Yeah, that's that coin. You might also want to maybe remove these footsteps, right? You want to have a clean, um, let's see. A clean shell, yeah. So photographers do things like this a lot. We have the you, are, you see they have perfect looking images. They just really work on them. Yeah. You hardly go to a beach and not find footsteps there. So when they get their pictures, they will now work on the photos, right? Uh, yeah, stuff like this. So you can keep on doing this to 
that's silly. You can keep on doing this to make this look kind of perfect. But yeah. But you get the whole idea, right? Get the whole idea. And these basic things would cut across every other aspect, right? Like this. Like for those who are interested in using this as photographers, you you apply things like this when you're doing frequency separation as well. Okay, yeah. Can remove this one here. Move this here. I'll just here. So again, before and after. So I'll go to my history, go right to the top. This is a before here. And now see this is after down here. Right? Very simple, straightforward things. Okay, let's go to the next one and see. Okay, if I bring in this road here as well. Right? Um, I think I need to, okay, let's see. I can start by. <laughs> Let me see how this would work for me. Okay, it's actually work, right? Simple. Just have to remove that there. Then now this is too big. So if I just try and see what Photoshop will do for me. It's too big, but let's try and see. Let's ship this and let's ship to some point. That's too big. It's, uh, okay, you know, see it's messy because there's a depth of field here. The image here is kind of in focus, but the image else here is out of focus. That's why you have this crazy thing here because it's referencing an image that's out of focus, okay? So I just go back and this is the ideal, right? So I just allow this for now. So just close this up. Close this one up as well. Close this up as well. Close this up as well. Finish close up as well. Okay, now let's get to the real person now. So we have seen how to use uh let's see. Okay, let's drag this one again. So we can use the same thing here. Let's say you don't want these shadows on the road here. Simple. You can just carefully draw around the shadows like this and drag to a point. That has no shadows. So remember, these shadows are from those trees there. Yeah, those trees that are found there like that. So I can just come here. Just, yeah, stuff like that. I can just double in this and they are going. For some reason, this portion here looks funny. So I just fix that up, set up. Sometimes you not get a perfect result. You just always have to keep on trying. We can go back and either increase the size of the station or drop the size of the station. Right, so it gave me a visit before, a visit after, I did, okay. Alright, so now let's look at um, the... So we have seen the spot healing brush, we have seen the healing brush, we have seen the patch tool, right? We'll skip this tool here for now, and we'll come to the stamp tool, which is S on the key. If you press S on the keyboard, you get the stamp, stamp clone tool, this one here. We'll not look at this that one down for now, look at this one. This one is very powerful. Okay. So let's um, drag and drop an image like, as usual. So let's see. Okay, I even forgot to, sh to show you guys this example here. So we are destroyed. Simply, we can get the um, patch tool, right? And just remove it, destroy from it from the jean trousers, right? Stuff like this. And also, this one looks funny. So what we can do, instead of using the patch tool here, right? Let's just come back here, I'll just go back. So instead of using the patch tool here, I can still use my spot healing brush tool. Let's um, come here. This spot, not not even the spot, but let's see spot should work. I just brush with the spot. Uh let's see. Spot can work as well. So I'll get the spot in brush chill. Drop this brush. Yeah, it works as well. But when the spot gets really really big, it starts being funny. Or you can even just come here and use it, the healing brush to select a reference point here. By holding Alt and clicking on the point, then make your brush soft. Please remember to make your brush soft and just drag around. And there's some copy pixels from here to here. All right, same thing here. This destroyer can copy pixels from let's say here and just fix it here like this, right? Just fix like that. So, what you're doing is you're, just, you're basically copying pixels from this point and you're using like this point here. Or you can use the uh, chrome stamp tool here and I can just do something like this and drag and fix it up again like that. Right? Something like this, you sit up like this and drag back here, and yeah, stuff like that. Let's drag them, fix that up. If it's not too good, you can really still re refine that as well. Let's see, fix this one as well. Please, nice. here, fix this too. Yeah, and you can do the same thing here. So now, this, since this one is too big, I'll do it little by little. So I'll get the first part here, drag. I think this part is okay, right? Get this one here and drag, then. And refine this one a little bit more. Okay, control Z to select, refine this one a little bit more because I think it's too wide, right? Then I can, uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. No, 
let's do this again control the specific when things up like this okay i think i, I just like that yeah so, so this is what you have um go back here leave this in the before and you have just fix that up slightly and this is after all right basic basic things like that and the, high, the higher the quality of your image the better the results you get right okay so let's get now to the, the grand thread is the clone stamp so I, I think i really like the clone stamp so and let's use this particular image here okay so let's say you guys were at the beach and let's say this is you here right and you had some friends here and you want to remove them from the from your picture and stuff like that um you could try this other tools here it will give you funny results like if i try let's see this hidden this hidden spot here will give you a very funny result if i do something like this something like this do you find a result let's just wait to photoshop to do its thing okay stick him uh we don't like nice okay see so that's done a very funny job here so i'll go back so if you use any of these tools here you have a very funny funny result here another thing you can do is you can do the um content aware feel thing i showed you guys last time where you get any selection tool like in my case here i'll get this uh, laser tool here and just select over what i want to remove like this then i have an active selection like this then you now right click on the selection and you take a uh, fill for some of you guys who have content aware fill and let's take fill basically here and make sure the content is content aware fill and take okay now based on the version of photoshop you have the result here will look different okay and i think this result is very horrible i think so so let's see what photoshop Yes, you know, so this result is very, very horrible, right? So let's use the control Z to go back. So the tool you need to use is the um, stamp, the clone stamp tool. So let's press S on the keyboard. This tool here. So what you do is you basically copy pixels from point to point. So let's start from here. Um, let's say we want to start by removing this lady here, right? So I want to copy pixels from here and try to match this line here like that. So what I'll do is this. I would make my brush this be soft, hold all on the keyboard and click on this point here. Like that, right? So I want to copy this particular from this point. When I click there, I now move around. Let's see, now see the pixel and the cursor that it has copied from here, right? So I'll come and align it down here. Do you see? Before I start brushing. Because if I come and align it up here, so what happens? So it's copying from down here, but it's putting it up here. Do you see? So I'll come here, point here, hold all of the keyboard, click here, then come to this point here, and I'll brush like that. So it matches first of all, increase the size of my brush and do something like this. Now see, it starts from here, right? When I get to this point here, notice there's a plus sign that comes up on the keyboard. So it's copying from here, and as I move up to so moving up like this, right? So I'll brush, when I get to this point, we have an outline line here. Because I want to make this video realistic, I'll come up here, hold Alt and click on this point here as well, right? And I'll come here and also align, I'll make sure this particular thing here aligns with this horizontal line I see that's traveling like this. Align, now brush again, like that, and now something like this. So I've removed the first person. And that's the same idea you would use to remove other people. If you look keenly, notice that there are some funny looking things at the corner here. Yes, it's simple to remove that. Just make your brush very soft, like that. Then select a point that's around here and just come here and just brush like, like that. Same thing here, select a point from there and just kind of brush like that. That's how you fix those funny looking points. So we'll do the same thing here. So again, I'll just come here, hold Alt to the keyboard, select from, let's say here. Come on, point somewhere. Let's see. Let me drop the hardness so you have from here and i'll point somewhere like this here right and i'll just brush like this okay let's brush we we'll see i'll select from here as well up here and i'll point here again i want to match this horizontal line here if i do something like this it's going to look very funny do you see so i want to match this line here so i'll go alt click to select this point as my reference point i'll point here and uh, make sure the line matches like that i can now brush like that okay so I'll do the same thing and he's the last person I want to remove right now. And I'll brush, come back, select this one here. Align it perfectly like that, then brush like this. Okay. All right, so you see I've removed those people. So this is the before. Like this, and this is the last one here. Yeah, so let's assume that uh, this guy here is a boyfriend. Let's say you're this lady here and this guy is a boyfriend. And you guys went out with some friends. You want to remove the friends. This I can get this one. So let's say these are the friends here, right? So you just get to use your, your clone stamp tool to remove these people from here, right? And when you open the clone stamp tool, it's a good idea to have a new layer created where you're working from that new MC layer. Like what we have done here, we have worked directly on this image here, which is a very bad idea. So I'll just go back in time by clicking here and 
I've undone everything I did here, right? So I'll just put the new empty layer like this, right? So we are now working on this empty layer here, okay? So I'll get my chrome stamped one. I think I'll do it first this time around. I'll just click hold alt and click on this point here. And I'll come here and uh, hold alt click on this point. Now, when I try to do it, it's not going to work because this, our sample here, is not set to current and below. So what this current and below means is that Photoshop should also consider pixels from this um, layer down here. If it's set to current, Photoshop considers pixels just from this layer here. So let's make sure it's on current and below. Then we'll do it again like this. And you now see Photoshop um, uses those pixels as well, right? You can do something like this, okay? Stuff like this, right? Yeah, stuff like this. So you now have something like this done and you can always turn this off. That's what you had before, after, before and the after. And that's the clone stamp tool. You can get a lot of things done with this particular clone stamp tool. So let me bring in another image and um, let's use the clone stamp tool on it again. So let's come here to which one can we bring all here? There was, okay, this one here, drag and drop. This one. Now, let's say we want to remove this man from here. He has his, his dog here, right? Let's say we want to remove this guy from here, totally, and have a wall there. Now, this one, we need some more work, but let's try and see if we'll have something nice. So, again, create a new empty layer like this. The layer here, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'll just allow it like that. Then, always make sure you have current and below here. So, I'll get my clone stamp tool from, let's see. Yes, my clone stamp tool from here. Okay, now, you want to, I want to start from, let's say, here somewhere. Let's say up here. So I want to reference this point here, hold alt and click here. And this is my reference point here. Now come now here and make sure this line here, this is this line here, make sure it matches like that. And I'll just start rushing like that. Then when this point gets to here, there's somewhere around here, I'll stop. And I'll reselect the point again like that. And just make sure it's I'll select, let's say this. Let me see. And I'll select this one here. Then I'll make sure this matches. This matches here, love this, like that. Okay, so you now see, I'm, I'm trying to match those lines there, you see. Now come here and also match this line. I'll come also match this line here like this. Yes, like that. Now brush as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I can come on that here. Click here and just come straight like this. Can now brush here like that, have something like this. So again, I'm just copying pixels. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing any magic here. I'm just copying pixels from point to point. I'm, I'm matching those, those points in a wise way. Okay, that's what I'm doing. That's just all I'm doing. And if I do something like this, let me copy, let me copy pixels from, let's say this point here, for example. Now let's see uh, from, let's see. Let me copy from here. So I'll come somewhere here and match like that. Come again here and then this to something like this. Yeah, pretty smooth sense. Then uh, you can come here, copy pixels from there, and uh, yeah, something like this. Let's go back to something like this. Okay, then I can come here as well. Or let's see from here as well and just copy like that. It's brush down so we get to this point. Again, okay. brush, 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 like that. I think it's somewhere around here. When I get here, you notice we now have this other stuff down here. So, so I can come here and copy pixels from here and coins and try to make sure the line matches here. I just brush like that. Okay. You can just finish up this red line. Is come here and just finish. Okay, let's see. You can select from plural and just come back here and select here again. Fresh stuff like that. Okay, so this will be what we've had. So from here to here, like this, right? And we can do the same thing here to finish this up. So you can come here and have something like this. Select from here again. I want to clean up this one here. So again, I'm trying to match up with this line. Remember, we're trying to make this thing look as realistic as possible. That's why we are matching up with the, the lines we see on the design, on the image on the image already. Okay, because that's what's going to make this thing look realistic, right? So now brush up like that. Let's see. Take the select from here instead. Or should I from down here? Yeah. So it kind of looks the same. Yeah. Okay, I'll copy from this corner from here, this point here. It's here. Oh, 
of chain. I think I, I like the results and I'm getting. Okay, I think I like this result I'm getting. Except to this point here, I don't like this result again. Okay, I think I like what I, do. I just got like this. Yeah, this looks nice. So I just allow this, right? And I'll come here and get this point here. And just come here and pick that up like that. And then I want to, let's see, I want to get a darker spot for this one inside. I want to come here and get that build, those dark pixels from there and just brush like this. Okay. I'm going to copy this, no copy this and replace it like that. Then I want to fix this up here. So I'll just come here and can use pixels from there to fix this up like this. Nope, that's so much. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, then like that. Okay. I can come and brush around it beside the dog like that. So if I zoom out, this is what we had, this is before, before like this, and this is after, okay? You would never know, if she, I'm not sure the before and after, we never know, right? So let's pick some of this up part here, so just go in like that, and let's select from, where should we select from? From this angle here, all right, and you make sure it aligns, it matches like that. The menorah name, okay, let me just go back. Okay, one thing I can do is this, um, I can just come back here, right? I can have okay let me, let me explain why i want to do what i want to do now so let's get if i come and get this my point here right it's my reference point hold alt and click like this now if i point here and i brush notice it, it's also going outside like this it's going up i don't want that i just want to start from here this uh where the balcony ends there i think that's a balcony or where the fence yeah where the fence and it just goes down so what i can do is i can create a selection here using my laser tool so i'll get my polygon my polygon laser tool this one and I'll create a selection here. So I'll click here like this. Now I'll go a straight line. Click here like this. Come down here. The reason I'm doing this is so that the selection does not go out of my copying of pixels. It's not go out of the selection here. Now I have a selection currently active. So I'll get my clone stamp tool like this. And I'll reference this point here. And see what happens now. When I brush this thing here, it does not go, does not go out of this selection. You see, it remains in this selection like this. Right. Okay, so I'll just come and reference this point here again. Uh, let's see from here. I'll just brush like this. So it does not go out of it. Reference point here and just brush like that. Reference points from here and just brush like this. Yeah. Then if I so again, okay, it looks very fun. No problem. We can always fix this uh, corners since it looks very um hard. I can always brush around it with a soft brush like that. All right. Same thing here. I can always just come here, select these pixels from here, and just make sure it matches up like that. You can just brush like that with the soft brush, All right? Copy these dark pixels and just yeah, something like that. Yeah. Since it looks kind of hard, then that's that's no a big a big deal. I'm gonna zoom in again and you see how hard it is there. So you can just re really get pixels on this side here. And just brush like that. Yeah. Drop a little bit and just align and brush. Okay, so now how do we fix up this up part? So this is before here before this I looked like so this guy was there and now this is after him right so it's how do we um remove this part up here now you just have to think of look at this stuff behind me this is a building behind here right it's it has this um I think this the foot of the building I think so and this to go like this then come somehow down here so whatever you have behind here is up to you now you can decide what you want to have behind it right so what I'll do is this hmm what can I do what can I do what can I do I can even totally replace what I have on the background here or something else. That that depends on me. So I can do something like this. I can instead just mask this out. So I'll get my polygon uh, laser tool. I will just click here. Then I click here to draw a straight line like this, and uh, something like this, right? So I have now this upper portion here selected. I want to inverse the selection so that I'll have just this dog and these areas down here selected. So I right click on it and take or uh, select inverse, right? Then I'm going to mask it. So I've take I've taken away this portion here, right? The reason why this one here is showing is because of this thing here. Do you see? Because this guy here. So I can even copy this mask to this other layer up here. So how do you copy a mask from here and apply here? Just hold Alt on your keyboard. Then you can click on this mask and drag up here. So you have copied that mask and it's gone on like that. I can place something on the background. So if I come here and let's say, can okay, I just look for any other picture? Just for it or shrimp purposes. If I drag this picture and bring it here like that. If I, and if I make it big like this, again, this is just for it or shrimp purposes. We can put something better there, right? And I now take this picture to the bottom there like that. You know, so you have something like this. Okay, so I can always modify this like that. 
I don't know if I've said so, so many things here, but if I've done, if I've said so many things here, please let me know. Right. Uh, I think okay. And we have something like this. So let me just go to the before and after. So this is what we had originally. We had uh, and just zoom out a little bit. Yeah. So we had this. This was originally here, and we had to remove this guy from here. Then uh, fix things up, and now we have something like like this, right? So these are just basic things you you just basic ideas you're putting together and stuff like that. So you can even decide to bring in some other thing here, some other animal here, or some some stuff. Like it depends on you. But again, these are just the basic ideas, and we have used just the clone stamps. So, and I think the clone stamps is one very important tool photographers use a lot when they are fixing up their images. Like now, you see this dirt here, right? This um, I think it's a leaves here. You can always clean this up. Right, with any of the tools available here. So again, you can use either spot, you can use this one, you can use patch, or you can use your um stamp tool. Okay, right. So I want you guys to take out time and experiment with these tools. Take out time and experiment with these tools, right? Take out time and experiment with these tools. Okay, so your assignment is going to be a difficult assignment. Yes. It's not really difficult, but I think it should be difficult for most of you. So do you see this image here, right? I want you to remove this fence so it should look like a dog was never in a fence okay feel free to check on youtube yes it's not a crime check on youtube just only to get the assignment done and understand how it was done okay so this is your assignment get this done and aside this one i want you to also get your practice with your own um pictures as well right just practice with these tools as i've said this it, it makes sense now but if you don't practice you would forget right so spend time and practice with these tools and if you have questions Please drop the questions in the comments and this the images are put here i'll make them available in the description of the video i'll send a link and you can click on that link and you it's going to take you to a google drive um, folder where you can have access to all of these images i've used to all right so i think uh yeah that's it so the before and then after I me mean, you can do a lot of crazy things here but that's just the basic idea how to use the clone stamp to and get stuff done all right um i think this is the end of this particular video and uh if you have questions, you guys should ask the questions and I'll get to you guys. Okay, see you guys in the next uh, video.